welcome students today let us start with our second chapter of science the living world hope you must have read and understood our first chapter the natural resources air water and land and you must have read its question answers also so today let's see our second chapter the living world in the beginning they asking you one question can you recall list the things seen in the picture say whether they are living or non living things so your children this is 2.1 figure various things in our environment environment means our surrounding where we live in our surrounding there are many things around us so let us see uh, in this picture there are many things shown uh, we have to classify them as living things and non living things so le let's see which are living things first tree is living birds are living things boy girl hand and cheeks puppy they are all living things now which are non living things in the picture house is non living inside the house table lamp table bookshelf books ceiling fan doors windows curtains they are all non living things outside the house that box bucket the boys holding the kite these are all non living things now children we are going to see characteristics of living things characteristics means what children means some special features of living things there are many kinds of plants and animals around us do you agree this yes or no children there are many kinds of many varieties of plants and animals around us they show some similarities and differences similarities means something is same in between them and something is different between them for example i will take first of plants i'll give you example of mango tree and or oh, this one tulsi plant tulsi is also a plant but uh, it is very small in height and mango tree is very tall so though they are plants but they are different in height now take example of leaves also banana leaf is very long banana trees banana trees the leaves are very long and take the example of mango leaf mango leaf is very small as compared to the banana leaf so leaves are different height is different so they are plants but they are different they are showing some differences also similarly of animals some animals they are domestic which we can keep them as pet some animals are wild animals which they live in jungles tiger lion we cannot keep them as in our houses so though they are animals but they show some differences so there are some similarities and differences in plants and animals yet with the help of certain features we can tell that they are all living things there are some special features features present in them from that we can tell that they are all what living things these features are not seen in non living things that is why they are called as non living things such features are said to be the characteristics of living things so children let us see in this chapter one by one all the characteristics in detail about living things now the very first characteristics which we are going to study in this chapter is about the growth first characteristic is growth the beginning only starting with this characteristic they are asking they are they have shown you one picture can you tell and they are asking what differences do we see between the young ones and the adults in the picture can you see first let us take that boy and girl the first picture they are very small slowly and slowly in the second picture they have grown up third picture they have become an adult women and men in the fourth picture they have become an old man and women so like this the growth has taken place in them similarly the tree behind that boy and girl very first the tree was very small it was sapling slowly and slowly the tree has grown into an adult tree its height increases and it has grown into an adult tree similarly take the example of uh, this puppy puppy has also grown see in the third picture it has big grown into an adult dog so this is how the growth has taken place in the living things in plants animals and human beings growth in living things so growth is a characteristic of living thing a baby grows up to become an adult person woman or man when baby becomes adult grown up person either man or woman it becomes either woman or man during the period of its growth the baby gains in height weight and strength so when the baby grows what happens it gains its height weight and strength strength means strong becomes strong in the same manner all animals grows into adults even like plants and uh, the human beings 
एनिमल्स ऑल्सो ग्रो इन टू एडल्ट्स जनरली ह्यूमन्स रिक्वायर एटीन टू ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स फॉर इट्स ग्रोथ रिमेंबर दिस ह्यूमन रिक्वायर्स हाउ मेनी ईयर्स एटीन टू ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स टू बिकम एन एडल्ट पर्सन दैट मीन्स देर बॉडी इज फुली डेवलप एट दिस एज एंड दे बिकम एन एडल्ट पर्सन आइधर वुमेन और मैन नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट हाउ एट हाउ लॉन्ग इट टेक्स फॉर यंग वन्स ऑफ हैंड्स काउज एंड डॉग्स टू ग्रो इन टू एडल्ट दिस यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट नाउ चिल्ड्रेन लेट एस मूव फर्दर लेट्स सी हाउ द ग्रोथ हैज टेकन प्लेस इन द प्लांट देर दिस इज वन सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट ट्राई दिस टाई अ थ्रेड टू द टिप ऑफ अ पॉटेड सैपलिंग नाउ सी अर चिल्ड्रेन दिस इन दिस फिगर टू पॉइंट थ्री वन सैपलिंग इज प्लांटेड एंड यू हैव टू टेक वन थ्रेड एंड दिस थ्रेड दिस इज द थ्रेड यू हैव टू स्ट्रेच इट ओके एंड टाई इट टू दिस नेल दिस इज वन नेल ओवर यर एट दिस नेल यू हैव टू टाई द थ्रेड द थ्रेड शुड बी स्ट्रेट ओके एंड दिस इज द स्टैंड दिस वन इज द स्टैंड फॉर टाइंग द थ्रेड ओके नाउ यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व द प्लांट फॉर टेन टू फिफ्टीन डेज आफ्टर टेन टू फिफ्टीन डेज सी दिस सेकेंड same plant after 10 to 15 uh, days you will see that the sapling has increased in height and the thread has become loose why the thread has become loose what tells us that the plant has grown taller in all plants it is mainly the width and the height of the stem that grows as in the second uh, this second uh, after 10 to 15 days you have seen that the thread has become loose and the why the thread has become loose because the stem has grown into height as they grow some plants develop branches while others do not children as the plants grows some plants they develop branches and some do not develop branches also they grow as it is okay so what happened in this sapling the what it is what is conquered from this that growth has taken place in plants that is why after 10 to 15 days the thread has become loose in the first it was before 10 to 15 days the thread was very straight later on the thread has become very loose now children let's move further though all living things grow animals grow only for a certain period but just remember children as plants grow animals grow only for a certain period they they have a limited life span but plants on the other hand they grow as they live they they have no limitation they grow as long as they live but animals they are having only a certain period of life to live the growth of living things occurs from within the body how children how this growth takes place it takes from within the body and after all overall development of our body takes place that means growth occurs in all the parts of the body it does not only your hands grows and your legs does not grow it does not happen like this overall your body parts develop fingers then slowly slowly your small fingers grows your hands become grown up your legs become grown up like this overall development of your body takes place so growth takes place overall first from within and then overall development of our body takes place now children see 2.4 figure growth in banyan and coconut tree see in the first uh, figure the banyan tree first one is a banyan and second one is a coconut tree the they are, they are very small slowly and slowly they have grown into an adult banyan tree and coconut tree so this is how the growth has taken place okay now use your brain power what differences do you see in the growth of trees like the mango banyan and peepal you have to observe this mango banyan and peepal tree and that of bamboo coconut and toddy palms you have to see notice what are the differences in the growth now children food is necessary for the growth yes or no children growth is a important characteristic of living thing so but for growth to takes place what you require very important you require food without food growth will not take place so let us see the growth in plants plants make their food own food in sunlight plants children they prepare their own food they do not depend on other they make their own food in sunlight plants produce food from water nutrients in the soil 
and carbon dioxide present in the air so plants require three things to prepare their food the first one is sunlight second one is carbon dioxide and third one is water and nutrients from the soil so remember this children plants prepare their own food they require three things to prepare the food sunlight one is sunlight second one is carbon dioxide and third one is water and nutrients water and nutrients where they will get from where they will get they will get from the soil this process takes place in the leaves of plant and children this whole process of preparing the food it takes place in the leaves of the plants can you see here in circular part they have shown it is brought about in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll in the leaves now children you will ask me why only in the leaves the preparation of food takes place of plants because children in leaves chlorophyll is present now children what is chlorophyll because of chlorophyll children the color of the plant is green and it helps them to prepare the food that is why in leaves only the plants can prepare the food because in leaves what is present chlorophyll due to that they can prepare their food this whole process which takes place with the help of chlorophyll in the leaves is called as photosynthesis what it is called as photosynthesis photosynthesis means preparing of food by plants plants prepare their own food they require three things to prepare their food one is sunlight second one is carbon dioxide and third one is water and nutrients water and nutrients they get it from soil and children this carbon dioxide they get it from air which is exhaled by human beings children we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is taken by plants for preparing their food during this process plant give out oxygen children but very important thing while preparing food they take carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen and this oxygen we are inhaling understood children so this whole process is called as photosynthesis plant appear mainly green in color due to chlorophyll i already told you why the color of the plant is green because they have chlorophyll in them so remember this very important this diagram is 2.5 photosynthesis how plants prepare food photosynthesis if anybody ask you what is meant by photosynthesis you should say photosynthesis is a process in which plants prepare their food with the help of sunlight three things sunlight carbon dioxide water and nutrients water and nutrients they get from soil carbon dioxide they get it from air which is exhaled by human beings and sunlight from sunlight they get the light and they prepare the food with the help of chlorophyll present in the leaves understood so let's move further children intake of food by animals children intake means taking inside of inside the food see see in the above pictures four pictures first picture the bird is eating an insect second picture also the hens hens are also searching for their food okay third picture tiger is also eating some animal okay in fourth picture also the horse is searching for his food eating grass so they are taking inside the food intake means taking why they are taking the food for their growth now we have seen how plants they prepare their food but animals children they do not prepare their food why children they do not prepare their food because they do not have chlorophyll that is why they do not produce their own food plants are having chlorophyll that is why they can prepare their food but animals do not have chlorophyll that is why they do not prepare their food so they search for food and they depend on other animals or they search for their food animals such as goat sheep horses eat grass these animals domestic animals they eat grass wild wild animals which are living in jungles tigers lions they hunt other animals for their food understood so they depend on they are eating some plants also and they are eating some animals also okay these wild animals so they are not preparing their food they are depending on other plants or animals for their food so that is the difference between here plants and animals the intake of food and resultant growth if you take the food then only the growth will take place so growth is an important characteristic of living thing so till here only we will see in our next class we will see about other characteristic like respiration excretion um, responsiveness to stimuli reproduction some four five characteristics are there still more so that we will see in our next part till then revise your lesson till here goodbye